We're here today at Ackland Grange to pay respect to those soldiers who died 100 years on um, and therefore we've paired their names with a person, a living person from today uh, on our wall of remembrance. The, the project as it's named as AGS Then, Now and Forever is so that we've got a permanent feature here so that our students who, um, some have maybe been in the country a matter of days, some have spent their life and, and, and have got family members on the wall, is to bring everyone together now and for those generations to come um, in future years so we can all pay respect for the lives that we have today because of the people named on the wall. So the project is to name and display and honour over 3,000 fallen soldiers, all from Middlesbrough. It's to bring their memory back to life. Uh, it's not my project, it was a couple of teachers, Mr Watmore and Mr Lowes, who approached me. And they've done all the hard work, but they asked me to help raise awareness of it, help publicise it and bring the project to life. So I'm really here playing quite a, a small part, but it's an incredible project. It's some great support from uh, the Mayor, Ben Houchin, some notable local people that really want to help get this project the attention it, it really deserves. It's, it's, it's a fantastic thing to see. We're seeing more than 3,000 people who, who have lost their lives during World War One, all from Middlesbrough, and we're seeing Ackland Grange really pick up uh, the chalice and say we need to be able to match those people with young students who are alive today to be able to remember their memory and what they sacrificed for the local area and it's been such a success it seems to be that this is going to be adopted as a national war memorial and specifically it's in the open side of Ackland Grange School so that the com community can come and enjoy it, come and view it and I think it's a really brilliant thing that students and staff here at Ackland Grange have been able to give back to the local community.